वेलकम गाइस दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फैक्टर इन द फील्ड ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स राइट सो वी गोन डील विद टुडे विद द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंट्रेंसिक सेमी कंडक्टर्स दिस वुड बी इंक्लूडिंग द एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सिलिकॉन इट्स कंपेरिजन विद कंडक्टर्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स एंड द एनर्जी बैंड एंड ऑल दैट स्टाफ हाउ एवर इट विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडिंग द doping phenomena because it will be discussed in further lectures of this um, uh, content or this subject that is uh, basic electronics so we move forward here is the introduction uh, the conductors as i said we will be comparing them conductors on one side we all know are the most supportive to the flow of current and insulators on the other are the least right and semiconductors as their name suggests uh, lie in between both of these extremes and the two examples to quote here silicon and germanium the most commonly used is the silicon and germanium and the most preferably i must say uh, nowadays in industry because of its stability silicon is being used right these two uh, diagrams that you are watching now uh, conductor and insulator show that uh, what they have in them is the conductivity patterns right when you apply a voltage source across conductor for example you apply a voltage these electrons will move towards because they are not tightly bound by their valence uh, uh, in their valence orbits they will be moving towards the positive uh, electrodes of whatever the applied voltage is while insulated electrons are fixed and they will keep on revolving these are free to move they will not uh, they are not free to move so that is why we do not have you know, insulators as uh, mm, that is why insulators do not conduct um, electricity and conductors do conduct further uh, further we have two more points uh, about semiconductors that is about resistivity of semiconductors once again it's uh, the repetition in fact of the fact that uh, semiconductors have a uh, conductivity in between both of these extremes and it has similarly resistivity or resistance between those of uh, conductors and insulators right so and their electrons are not free to move but a little energy will free them for conduction now this is a point to be concentrated upon because so here is the atomic structure of uh, silicon and we are using a silicon example and uh, uh we uh have uh, this structure of silicon basic structure uh each silicon has four uh, valence electrons uh in its uh, valence orbit so to achieve an octet silicon will be uh, bonding with four other silicon atoms further and this silicon uh atom double bonds with other four silicon atoms and each silicon and this one would be bonding in next with next four and the next one would be with the next four and the next one would be the with the next four so this will be a periodic pattern uh and this periodic pattern would be uh called a uh, crystal and this periodic pattern is continued throughout the material except at the ends and uh, this repeats itself and uh, this is known as a crystal of uh, the silicon right so this is the what uh, this is what you know uh, is all about the structure and this structure repeats the electrons are fixed at 0 degree centigrade, uh, centigrade centigrade and when it comes to room temperature normally at 27 degree celsius there are few electrons which can uh, leave these bonds now this is the point that we have uh, this is the point that we have for uh, silicon and uh, the point that we were considering uh, in the previous slide that uh, a little much of an amount of, amount of energy so this at this uh, 27 degree celsius that little much amount of energy is made available